Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and I'm excited that it's the first Thursday of the month. So that means a brand new stamp set for the month, a brand new featured stamp set, and this month we are doing Layers of Beauty. You'll be able to see it better once I point the camera down. We're doing the Layers of Beauty stamp set, um, but it also is a bundle, and it comes with dies and layering masks, and that is what we're going to be using today. I know Mother's Day is right around the corner, and this is a perfect stamp set for that. But what's even closer around the corner is National Nurses Week and Nurses Day, which is Monday. Next week is National Nurses Week and National Teacher Appreciation Week. Monday is Nurses Day, Tuesday is Teacher Appreciation Day, and the whole week is to celebrate both of those. So I'm going to make a card today based on celebrating those great people in our life. This is the stamp set that we're working with this month. It's called Layers of Beauty. And I'm going to set it aside because of First thing we're going to do is get everything set up to use our masks. We're making the card in with the new in colors as well. We have a piece of pretty in pink cut um, vertically, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper cut vertically, pretty in pink cardstock for the front. We have a basic white piece cut for the inside, a smaller one cut for the outside. That's what we're going to be doing our layering masks on. And we'll be using Pretty in Pink again for a sentiment label. But let's get things set up for our masking. I'm going to attach my white paper that I will be doing the masks on with some washi tape so it will stay put and not go run around. And then I will be starting with the leaves. I like to do that. I'm not entirely sure why, but there are only two different masks for the leaves, and there are four that go for the roses. Which I'm not sure. They have numbers on them. But um, the numbers are a little strange. Well, this tells me there are only three for the roses. I four masks, two with the exact same number. So I don't know what to do about that. We're just going to do it with three instead of four and compare it to what I used did yesterday. And we will see which I like better. So when you're looking at your masks, the side with the um, number that you can see and the notch will be at the upper left corner. 
that is the correct way. And I'm just going to go ahead and tape this down. My mask, my white paper that I'm doing is slightly smaller than the stenciled image. But I'm, that's what we're doing today. So, and first on the larger part of the leaves, I am using Summer Splash. These um, masks do a really good job of cleaning up with water. I did that with them yesterday. So there's my summer splash leaves. And next, I'm going to do the detail in Shy Shamrock. Silly, I keep wanting to knock everything off of here, and that is not a good plan. Okay. Get some shy shamrock. And there's our detailed leaves and next we're going to be doing the roses themselves or the flowers themselves and there are three um, flower masks I actually thought there were four but I read the numbers and there are three I just had two of number Two. And so I'm going to want to do these flowers, the number one. first in the light pretty in pink I call it light but it's not the lightest pink we have this is actually a pretty bright but it's a very pink pink and then I'm going to finish do number two in the same way and I know what you're thinking you're spending more of the same color it's going to change it I guarantee you it does you'll be able to see the difference it makes the parts that we're going over right now darker. And then I'm going to close this up and we're going to get out Petunia Pop for the last part of this. I just realized 
I don't even have my light on. Let's see. Does that make much of a difference? Yeah, it leaves a little bit of a shine. this up that definitely goes right there over some of the empty spots because we're doing the centers of the flowers And I scooted it while I put the tape down. Okay. Here we go with the Tunia Pop. And there we have our layers of beauty flowers created using the layering masks. Pull this tape off. I don't know how well you can see those, but there they are, the layering beauty. Oh, I took the tape off too soon because I need to do, maybe I'll leave the tape off and just try to do it without. It is time for the magic to happen. I'm grabbing the line detailed stamp to just stamp right over that. You can leave it just like this and it has a watercolor look. You can even give it more of a watercolor look by spraying some water on it. But we are going to put the line stamp over it just trying to figure out how and where this all goes here we go And this is where the magic happens. There is your gorgeous line stamp colored image. You can always stamp first and then add your color, line up your masks with your stamped image. But you can also just line it up after you have um, colored in those images. Before we do any more, let's just do a little comparison of last night. This is what happened when I used four of the colors in four of the mask four times instead of three. I used the Petunia Pop one extra time, which gave it some extra Petunia Pop color. And here's the same thing with the lined images. So whichever one you like better, that's the one I would go with. I, of course, like it with more purple color, but that's just me. All right, let's set that aside for now. 
and we're going to do some stamping on our inside. And also on for a sentiment. And I'm just using black ink. I don't know why, but that's what I've decided to do. Probably go back and add some color with the markers. And just a tiny little flower there in the inside. And it says, God bless. All right. Set that aside for now. We will add some more color to it momentarily. I have to cut down my pretty and pink paper so that it will fit in the mini stamp and cut and boss machine. It doesn't have to be that small, but we're just making a small sentiment label that says grateful for you. And see if it will work. I do it on the edge. If not, we'll stamp again here in a minute. to tape it with some washi tape. Oops. And then Send it through our mini stamp and cut emboss machine. Put down the cutting, put down the base plate and a cutting plate. And then our cardstock with the stamp and die. Sorry, I'm rearranging the um label because it should fit up in me. And then we'll send it through. This is a die from the perennial postage set that did carry over to the new catalog. So there's our die. And then I'm going to grab the markers and we'll color in our inside and then put the card together. Stamp and write markers. I'm I haven't even opened these yet. That's how new all of this is. But I'm going to pull out 
the Pretty Pink, the Peony Pop, and the Shy Shamrock. And then we're just going to color in our um, little flower. Color in the leaves. in the Shy Shamrock. Do the petals in pretty pink. 